I want to leave this now for discussion. Anyone wants to mention how many times they like? I think it's interesting though, there uh, seems to be a little resurgence of, of old school. Um, and I, and I said, you know, previously, uh, uh, you know, Robotech was only the main uh, way that Macross and the other two series were, were domesticated and were released in the United States. And for, for one, one time, all fans had were the were the that were the ducks. And except for sometimes, again, here's another reversion of Carl Maycat was in the early 90s when he had this company Streamline Fix, which released the one of anime. These weren't sanitized much, but still they were sub dub only, and that's what Carl saw the only market was. And so So, except for exceptions, he did make subtitle version of Akira and he released what was shortly known as you know, the Robotech Perfect Collection, which only went for a couple of volumes, but he had two volumes, two episodes of Robotech, and then two episodes of the original series subtitled. And that was done for all three of them, but again, only a few episodes each. But once again, MAI Go came to the rescue. <laughs> In the, the turn of the century, as part of that, I would, if you told me that I, I could get the subtitle version of Macross, I thought you were crazy. But and I go released it, and is it here? And ADV released the subtitle versions of Southern Cross and Mosquita, and then later on they went a step further. They released a redub of Macross. Which was much true to the original, and they did the same of Gajamon. And so there's just been, seems to be a resurgence of old school lately. Um, another one coming on was uh, Voltron. DVD Blasters has released at least the Lion Voltron in DVD, and they're now releasing the subtitle version of Go Lion, unsanitized. I can show the preview that probably goes on that. And I understand they're also going to do. They're also going to do Die Ruger, if I understand, and I'm definitely going to buy that one. Um, I'm not 
sure. I think it was late 80s. It was about 86, 87, something, somewhere around there. And I remember I've seen, this is kind of like, I'm talking about missing the bullet. This, I've seen these previews for some anime, including Bubblegum Crisis, but as a title called Future Skate. Mm. And they did the same thing with Project Echo, and you just watch these previews. And they look oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, those no. were uh, those were what Harmony Gold was going to do to those series. Uh, oh. Future Scape uh, was going to well, uh, they were going to change around how some of the characters were handled. Um, put Chris in the lead of the team rather than, than uh, Celia um, and. Uh, Aiko, they made her have bionic yeah. superpowers. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have one reason to fear Sabahan. Honest, truly, very Sabahan. <laughs> well, who doesn't? Go ahead. Okay, this, this does go back, goes back to again, Sailor Moon. Um, there is footage out there of uh, what Sabahan wants to do with Sailor Moon. And it's a live action clip. And it has, you've seen it, I'm sure you've seen it. Yes. Uh, you bought Mars, she's a paraplegic, but she's no longer a paraplegic, but she transforms. Um, <laughs> Luna is this horrible butt faced cat <laughs> that looks like it's been electrified. Yes. It, it, it literally, literally looks like a fancy beast cat. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Salem is, again, a bubble headed blonde, but she's repulsively horrible. And it's like showing this clip. It shows them on like these sky scooters zooming through space. They've all got long hair. They've got the same outfit on. And you've got this dorky moon stuff going on, music going on. And in the background, you can hear Naoko laughing her head off, going, no, 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 no. Yes, I, I remember seeing the footage, the animation. Well, they were going to, it was going to be mixed live action animation. Mixed live they were going to have. When, when they were human, when they were in, you know normal, they were it was going to be the live it was going to be in the live action. But when they transformed, it was cartoon. It was going to be cartoon. The cartoon, um, the animation style to me looked like uh, remember uh, like uh, filmation stuff like He Man, She Ra, yes, that exactly. kind of stuff. Oh, oh yes. Uh, Sailor Moon looked like take She Ra, throw her in a uh, in a Sailor Fuku, and you had. What Sailor Moon was going to look like. Yes. <laughs> that was oh, yes. horrifying. And I will never forget that stupid butt faced cat. I'm like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> now, if you ever get a chance, type in Sailor Moon uh, Saban. Or, uh, oh, what else can you type in? Uh, well, it was, it was live action or, or something. Original I mean, it was, live action. Yeah, scene, something yeah it was. Like it was. Yeah, it was. A, it was a promo they did. They never actually went through with it because we no. it was. Was a, well, it's not so much that. It was money. Yeah. It was a matter of it would have cost them more to do this, the, these live action bits and then new animation than just take the old show and redub it and try and scrub the Japanese out of it. Yeah. Well, what made it work the worst is the fact not only did it look like Shira. But they all had like, the same faces, didn't they? Well, more or less, yeah. More I mean, yeah. they were the multicultural crew. There was a black one, there was an Asian <laughs> one. There was, of course, there was the, the one that was handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> I know, nothing against paraplegics, but it didn't work. Right. It just, yeah, that's one reason to hear <laughs> Yes. Anyway, that, 